Good afternoon, you fantastic bunch. No respawns here. So this is another settlement mod review. Now this is called Pre-War House Player Home in brackets settlement edition. And as you can see, it's near Fort Hagen. Now this mod is awesome. Um, what you're seeing right now is the footage I recorded earlier of my first look-see around it. I did read the description so I know where things are. So you actually have to pick up a key from this duffel bag over here to get in. And also, I believe it was this guy's house. I made a point of not... Like, there's a couple of uh, tapes you can play and read and stuff, but I deliberately avoided them because I didn't want to do any spoilers or anything like that. But it's quite lore-friendly, this one, which I really, really like. Or at least it's got a, a kind of a backstory to it. Now, as I mentioned, this is just on PS4 for now. Looking at it, I did turn to check around, but it appears that it's only on PS4. It is a beautiful mod. However, it was only uploaded or created um, kind of mid-January anyway. Also, there are some dogs around and there's one inside because I can see it. So my hope is that eventually maybe the mod dev will port it uh, to uh, Xbox One and PC. Let me just beat this doggy to death with my big baseball bat. I've got my hug disabled. Oh, better. So I just used my baseball bat. Plus, watch. Explode. Love it. Um, so the mod dev is XXXXSynic. Is it Sicknick08? Whatever. Yeah, that guy. Cool name. Very punk rock. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it for shit. This is usernames, yeah? But, like, looking at it, I really, really like the building. Now, I normally avoid these pre-war kind of house mods because they tend to feel out of place. But, basically, the, when you go inside, it's, it's insanely stunning inside. But also, just due to the decor that they've used, it, it feels like a repaired house, not a copy-pasted from before the ward house. That's what this feels like, and that's why I really, really like it. And that distinction is it doesn't feel like someone's just taken, you know, you're saying, also, there's fucking tar berries and fruit everywhere. It's brilliant. But it doesn't feel like someone's just, you know, copy-pasted one of the early sanctuary, the you know, the sanctuary houses from the opening of the game, and it's, like, all kind of pre-war and crisp. It l literally looks like someone has taken a house in the midi uh, middle of the, um, the area and just painstakingly repaired it, which I really like. The swimming pool at the back, there's a swimming pool, is a little bit law-breaking, but that's just a, an extra addition. And he says settlement edition, so I'm wondering if he's gonna, um, or has a kind of single house edition. But look at the inside, you kind of see what I mean? It's, it feels a little bit like a kind of smaller version of maybe something like Cabot House, where it feels like it is kind of repaired and looked after. But at the same time, it doesn't feel out of place. And that's why I really, really like it. Even the kitchen. I look at it. It doesn't feel out of place. Because, for example, you've got, you know, the, the tattered food and everything. It just, it looks like it's repaired. And I, I love this place. It's, I was really blown away. This is the kind of decoration that realistically, you I mean, you can do it on console. But it is something that you really do need PC to kind of do the fine-tuning on. There are limits to what you can do on PC in terms of this level of the, um, on on console read this level of detail and obviously they've made this um on pc and then ported it to ps4 but it is fantastic you got a wee bar all the stuffs i'm really jelly of those christmas lights someone had them in for a mod unrelated someone make some kind of lighting mod yeah remember the vault 80 88 88 yeah 88 you know i want the, the lighting mod still need lights but also want those fairy lights but looking on the inside it just looks Really, really cool. I was just looking around just like, you know, you've got the, the magazine racks. It just, it feels like mini Cabot House and I loves it. And also what they've done is really clever. They've shrinked boxes and stuff down. And that never occurred to me to do that. You'll see in a second they have cars on the shelves and they're tiny, wee, shrunken cars, but they're meant to like toy cars. They're fantastic. It's, it's ingenious. You know, you've got your wee little, um, little fish tank here. Ah, oh, I love this. So normally I do shy away from these player house mods specifically because I feel that they they feel a little bit law breaking. But I figured, right, well I'm actually going to try them out now. And if anything like this, blown away. Look at these. <laughs> what a great idea! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. So I'll make those moddable, available. God damn, God damn your limitations, PS4. Bet we can't have them, fucker. I mean, as in like can't have them as placeable items unless I can. Bed, very very nice. Working computer as well. You can pop games in. I deliberately, um, this is him getting a bit confused, getting in the chair. Um, I didn't try and fiddle around with, like, these surveillance cameras or anything like that. Um, decided to just kind of leave them be, or 
things like this as well. Like, I didn't play the tape because I didn't want to do any spoilerific stuff. Um, for example, if they've got some kind of quest or backstory. But as you can see, again, it just... It doesn't feel out of place within the game. It just feels like it's just been really, really looked after. Which is quite nice. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like Cabot Half. We've also got the uh, Silver Shroud pedal at the top. <laughs> which I love. <laughs> love it. Love it. So there is actually a settlement here as well, which you'll see in a second. Working bogs. One thing, it's not really a criticism, but I noticed it when I was outside. The windows are a little bit too glowy, but I don't know whether that's just because they're an act. Oh, they've also got antibiotics from the survival uh, thing, which is just weird. I've never actually seen it in, because I don't have the survival um, function enabled, so it's a bit odd. But yeah, the windows are a bit, you see, they're glowy. But on the inside, it's fine. But when you're outside, they're kind of quite shiny. It looks a little bit weird. I didn't notice, actually, until I was just finishing up wandering around. And I was just like, wow, they're really, really bright. So I did get a little bit confused and lost. Because I remember looking at the pictures and seeing there was a swimming pool. And I assumed it was all part of one integrated house. It isn't, which I do prefer. And you can get in this garage, but this is just me just uh, having, a, have, having a wee moment. But I thought I'd just show it off. And you can see, so like that house there you see in the corner left, and this garage is all part of the, the complex. They did say um, with this mod you want to, you don't want to install it when you're at this location. So for example, I happen to be in home plate when I installed this, just because you want to be far away from the area before you, before you you know do anything with it. And also, I, I think that um, goes for updating it as well. So if you ever update this mod, make sure you're not saved in the house. I don't know if it, what it'll do wrong, but it might just fuck shit up. So here's the... That way's to the swimming pool and the kind of settlement area, but they've got this wee garage here. Decoration is on point. So good. I like this. So as you can see, they've also got... That's Institute X01 Power Armor. Now, I really like these racks. What they've actually done is their containers. You'll see in a sec, because I was going to try and pick one up. I think the containers... Yeah, they're, they're containers, but they're just decorated containers, which I really, really like. And all of this shit in the co um in those cupboards as well. That's the kind of painstaking detail I've done on, say, someone like Home Plate. But to be utterly frank, I can never be bothered to do it on my other settlements just because it would take way too fucking long. But it does look really, really nice. And they've really gone to town with all the bits and pieces. I do like it also. Just loads of the nukes. Got the I love this shrinking down things idea. It's a, I don't know, actually, is that a shrunk down safe? I'm not sure. That's definitely a shrunk down crate. A wee pit boy in the corner there. I just, ah, oh, I love it. I think, preferably for me, like, in a minute you're going to get into the salmon area and the swimming pool, which I do like, but just my preference, I would love for just this garage and just that house as kind of standalone. Um, I don't know if that's possible. I assume they have the virgins. I just said it. Looking at the description, it says pre-war house play home settlement edition, but I when I looked, I couldn't find on the Bethesda Mods Hub their other mods, so I, I don't know. If someone's linked me in the script, linked me in the comments, they've actually managed to find it, that would be outstanding. So, see, down here, I don't like this fence as well, it's a little bit too crisp, just saying. But again, I think work in progress. But like I said, this is just me, this is me trying to find error for the sake of, you know, just not gushing all the time. Speaking of which, so that's the swimming pool. That, for me, is a little bit law-breaking, and I remember seeing the pictures, and that made me kind of go, ooh, but that's just for me in terms of it because it doesn't feel like it's scrappy and repaired. So this is the actual settlement area. Now, I didn't... Because you can't actually see the entire area you can build. I, I couldn't see the build lines. You can actually plant crops here and everything. And you can send people here, apparently. But... So I don't know how far it is. But, for example, you see me now. I actually open up the workshop. That grey bench, by the way, is the workshop. They've just retextured it, which I quite like. So that there's. So you can scrap everything. I do this again because I, I forgot to pay attention. And I'd walk around. I think basically, let's see right here. I can build down here. You don't see a countdown. It just kind of disappears. So I don't know. And it disappears out there. So I don't know exactly. You'd have to test it where the exact build limit is. But basically, it's, it's definitely within here. And um, as you'll see in a second, you can scrap all these wee bits and pieces. Um, which is quite cool. And that's the workbench, which I quite like. Because I always found the workbenches were a little bit of a an out-of-place eyesore at times. So you have to pick this lock, unless I just missed the key. But whatevs. We'll pick the lock. My mad, my mad novice lockpicking skills. As you can see, I don't break the lockpick. Don't worry, I don't embarrass myself that much. So I forgot to pick it up, but I do go back for it. 
there's on the desk, the little wee table in the far left corner, there is a key card that you need to actually get into the swimming pool. That is also a unique combat. I'm um, sawn off shotgun. This is meant to be the guest bedroom. So there we go. It is muzzled, advanced, old, dependable. So it's got like a old silver short barrel, mahogany short stock. It's pretty powerful as well. It's probably quite slow, but I haven't, I haven't actually used it. But it's quite nice. This is um, this is definitely a late edition from the later edition from the main house, but it still looks very very cool. Let's see, so we go down here. Oh wait, this is me in a second because I forgot to actually check what, what you can scrap. So sorry, you have to deal with me slowly opening my workshop menu and having a look see. But yeah, as you can see, you can scrap everything and kind of how much wood they're kind of used for. Basically, this stuff here won't help you build anything because they barely account for barely any materials. However, you know you can bring your shipments over here and all that jazz. So here is the swimming pool. It's pretty swiffy. There's a, a thing there, like a, a brick you can press. Oh, I, I showed this off just because I've forgotten, but what I'm about to go to right now is actually already in the game, in here. So I wasn't sure if this was added, then I, when I opened the door, I remembered what it was. It's, it's, it's funny. So those little, I should have shot them actually. Those little gas canisters you can shoot off, it's really fun. But that's, that's not part of the mod, that was always there. So this is the door to the swimming pool which I couldn't open, and I got confused, and then had to quickly check the mod description to find the key, so it's in here. Bum, 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 bum. And it is on the thing over here. Voila, and you get a little key card, which is quite cool. I like this, you know, only they could have just left it so, you know, you could, you could just automatically open the doors. But for me, I quite like the fact that they decided to make it so you have to still manually pick up the keys, because it... You know, if the doors are just open and unlocked, then, you know, law-wise, you know, kind of RP-wise, any asshole could just walk over and open it. But that's quite a well-maintained swimming pool, so I assume the person died very recently because it's got, like, no algae or anything. That's me being a knob, by the way. So it's quite nice in it. Again, this is where I get a little bit law breaky for me just because it's it, it's just way too crisp but if you're okay with this then go for it it's just personally you know what i'm like i like you know scrappy shitty things basically i'm gonna take a big poo in that swimming pool to make it a bit more authentic throw a dead mole right in there you know float a load of medex needles you know the <laughs> but it's very very nice well done so in a second so this here you see that brick right there if you press it, it leads to a secret passing. Now, it took me a while to find this. Um, it's quite cool. So it's that big one in the center. Again, I got the, the UI turned off because it just looks nicer, but it's very, but it's there, basically. You'll see it. Now, I've turned the audio off in here just because I, it's got music playing, classical music, and I don't want to get my um, <laughs> a video uh, getting a strike against it because it's damn well definitely going to be uh, copyrighted. So I turn the audio off, but basically you have a little place to store your power armors in there. It's all very nice and it has very soothing classical music if you're down with that and aren't making YouTube videos. So here we go. Here's the outside. So that's basically everything. There are kind of I believe you know, there's a bit more fine detail in terms of how the house looks and I know for a fact that activating certain containers they kind of act like weird kind of, they're basically, you know, it's stuff to kind of nuance and detail to explore, but I didn't want to do everything, I just wanted to give you an overview. Hope you guys like this, I'll leave the link in the description to um, download the mod. Again, I think it is PS4 only for now, but those who are on PS4, download it if you like it, give it a nice high rating, leave them some positive feedback, all that kind of stuff, because, you know, hopefully it's a popular-ish mod, but hopefully maybe we can make it more popular so those on PC and Xbox can have a go. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at NoRespawns. I'll have another video up tomorrow. I'll talk to you other people soon. You take care.